Hey guys, I'm in my foyer entryway today and I'm going to deep clean and organize in here today. I'm going to start the same way I did in the linen closet the other day. I have my bowl here of warm water, a little bit of Dr. Bronner's pure liquid cast style soap and a cloth and I'm going to wipe down the walls, the doors, the trim around the doors, the baseboards, and here I have trim uh, chair railing around the middle of the wall. And I'm gonna dust the ceiling. I'm going to dust the furniture, light fixtures and things that are in here. I have the coat closet over here, so I'm gonna organize in there, go through, weed out, get rid of some things that we might not need anymore, and then clean the floors and we'll be good to go. So as you can see, I am dusting the ceiling with a broom and then I am dusting the light fixture on the ceiling. And to do that, I filled up a bowl with warm water and about a teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's liquid cast aisle soap. And I apologize for not showing you the bottle of that so you can see what it looks like, but I will put the link to that down below. I love Dr. Bronner's not sponsored by them but I love them and I use um, their cast aisle soap in a lot of my homemade cleaning products and I always use it with warm water when I wipe down the walls and baseboards and trim and doors and pretty much use it to clean everything in my house. When you are deep cleaning a room in your home it's a great time to take inventory of what you have and see if there's anything that you might need to get rid of. Anything that you don't use anymore or don't like anymore and know that you won't use it. And also look at your decor and see if there's anything that you want to change up. So for example, these candle holders I've had on the wall here ever since we moved in and I thought it was time to get rid of them. I like it better with the wall bare. They just aren't really in style anymore. So I put them with my pile of things to try to sell or give away.
Deep cleaning and organizing the foyer is part of September's cleaning jobs on my deep cleaning schedule for the home. The other cleaning jobs this month are to clean the linen closet, the mudroom, and the pantry. I did the linen closet in my last video and the mudroom and the pantry videos will be coming out very soon. But you can print off your own deep cleaning schedule for the home. It is on my blog, BrittBringsItHome.com. And I will also put the link to that down below. And you can go print the schedule off yourself and put it in a page protector, hang it up somewhere in your home, and join the deep cleaning fun with me. After you've done each deep cleaning job, check off on your schedule to give you a little bit of satisfaction. And then take some before and after pictures and feel free to tag me on Instagram. I'm at Brit Brings at Home. And also hashtag them BBIH Deep Cleaning so we can find each other's before and after pictures and see how the deep cleaning is going for each other. I would love to see how it's going for you. And you can also comment down below and let me know how it's going for you, any questions you have or any other tips you have for deep cleaning and organizing these rooms. Okay, so I cleaned the walls, baseboards, and the doors here in the foyer. Um, now is the coat closet. So I'm going to get everything out of the coat closet and clean the walls and the baseboards in there. And then I'll kind of weed out, see if there's anything that we don't wear anymore, we don't want or need anymore. Um, we'll get rid of that and then put our coats and we have gloves, mittens, hats, um, umbrella. We'll put that stuff back in there neatly and organized.
if you saw my linen closet organization video, you know that when I organize, I like to put clothes or whatever I'm organizing in order by color. So I go kind of go through the rainbow, but I start with white. I do white, grays, blacks, and then the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then I do brown at the end. So in my coat closet, I have just mine and my husband's coats. So on the left side, I have all of my coats in color order. And then on the right side, I have all of my husband's coats in color order. And our kids' coats, we keep them in their own closets just because they don't have as much clothes as my husband and I have. And we really don't have room for our coats in our closet. So we might as well use our coat closet to store our coats. And I actually just started watching the home edit. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. I just discovered the home edit and apparently they're very popular. They have over 3 million followers on Instagram. I don't know how I just found out about them, but I absolutely love them. They speak my language. They obviously do a much better job of organizing than I do. They have a much bigger budget for organizing product than I have, but I love their concept, which is pretty much the same thing I do, except they actually have names for it. <laughs> They call the part where you kind of weed out and get rid of some things. They call that edit. I just call it weeding out and getting rid of things you don't need or want. Um, and then they contain. So they put things in containers, which I do too. But they use all matching containers and they use clear acrylic containers and they label them, which I love labeling them too. Their labeling is so pretty. Hopefully one day I can get a uh, Cricut and make my own labels that are prettier than some of the labels I'm using now. And then the last step is organize. So that's when you actually put the containers and put the things in nice and neatly and they put things in color order all the time. So clothes, books, like everything, they put in color order and it always turns out so beautiful. So I think it's just, when you put things in color order, it just makes it so visually appealing. So if you have Netflix, you should definitely check this show out. It's called Get Organized with the Home Edit. And it's one of my favorite shows to watch at night now when, well, when my husband's working and I'm watching a show alone because I don't think he would like that show very much. But if you like organizing and love looking at pretty organized rooms, then I think you will love the show. So now that I've gone through my coat closet and I got rid of a few coats that I haven't worn in a while and I will try to um, sell them or give them away. And now the last thing is just to dust the little table here, dust the decorative items that are on the table and then I will sweep and mop the floors and that's it. Thank goodness this is a small room and it did not take long at all to organize. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe so that you stay up to date on my new videos that come out and like this video and share it with a friend that you think might like it too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.